Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to another part of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we learned about why the leader of the Machina wants Agil dead, a little bit at least, and we helped repairing Fiora with finding some electronic peritracer part I, I'm sorry, I don't know what that thing was called. But we found it. Had to deal with some mechan on the way there. Was nothing too harsh. It was weird at times, but it worked out. And in this episode, we go and talk to the chief because he wants to talk to us. Well, at least to show, but it's the same in my book. Never mind. First we rest up and then we talk after that. So apparently that marker is outside. I completely forgot that there was a step between that. So whatever. Oh, that's a landmark and there are quests. Gonna take the quest. You're in the water. Oh, you're down there. Whoops. Hi there. Whatever your problem is, I'm going to help you, man. And apparently that will also help the... A bond between Ricky and Melia, which is also really good. Investigate the silver wreckage on Wreckage Beach on the Fallen Arm. Oh, that is... The silver wreckage is the one from Melia, so... No problem with that. Can do that, huh? Oh, sorry, I did not want to talk to you again. But yeah, we will check on that. Do I have to talk to you? Looks like it. You must be tall. Please feel free to use this room. Would you like to rest? Well, let's take a rest. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh... Um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes, we agree with you. Egil must be stopped, but we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other? Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. 
Let me think about it for a bit. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs. There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the Prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied Force attacks Maconis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? 
The girl doesn't want to hurt Agil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but we'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. He's still my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. Well, we now have a full party again. We have Fiora and Sharla back. And I think we're gonna go with Shiora. Fiora for this time and... Um, instead of Ryan, how about Shulk? We wanna have those guys together. So... And... I take the blockhead key because... We will need it. But before we head off... I want to take a look into the shop as well with Fiora and Sharla because I didn't buy anything for them because I didn't see if it was necessary for them. So gonna micromanage that as well. Okay, we got new equipment and for Fiora, even though she's now really exposing some things, whatever, she has a great speed up and everything and that makes her to a really good fighter because Fiora is one of those uh, characters that gets really... Really good with critical hits and with dodging and blocking attacks and therefore going with some speed ups for her. I thought it was better than anything else. Um, even though she's now a bit bare, but whatever. We don't need to concentrate on that. So, 
We need to get this way. On digit 2. So let's take a look at the map. So that we exactly see where we need to go. And our goal seems to be somewhere over there. We can't see it. That's strange. Well, it's up there. So if we look down, we are going nearly the right way. We just need to... Freaking hell. <sighs> Dealt with unnecessary attacks from unnecessary mech and try to do something for me. Really? Okay, dealt with them as well. Seriously, don't try to attack me like that. So again, we need to get over on this part right here. So that we can get to the parts that we need to. I'm just gonna completely ignore you. I don't care, I wanna get stuff done. If you can swim, then swim behind me. But again, I don't care. Can't swim, don't care. That sounds harsh. More harsh than it was supposed to sound, but whatever. I wanna get to the gate, and we're gonna get to the gate. Again, we just have to swim back to the other side here. Collect some of the item orbs that I see over there, because I wanna have them. And I'm gonna talk about the fact that you can see little fish in the water. Little grey areas, and so... Where yeah, some fish are. And you only can see them during the swimming. During the swim. So only when you swim you can see that there are fish in the water. And I think it's kind of a neat touch. Where did Shulk just come from? Whatever. But yeah, there's a nice little touch that this is happening. So. Made it. So, gonna try to sneak past you guys. Don't wanna deal with you right now. I wanna get stuff done. And having to probably fight against some of those guys is more than annoying already. So, yes, you are right here at the bridge, so we're gonna deal with that. There's another one right here. Concentrate on him first, please. Yes, dealt with you. The bridge is now clear for me to pass it. But there's one dude standing over there, looking quite menacing. Well, he's two levels above me, so... It would make for some foe that is quite menacing. Everyone's regenerated. Let's deal with him. And that on screen reason. Well, probably gonna need to deal with him on screen. Why is Shulk already. Oh, because he filled the party gauge. Well, you did that. So, gonna deplete some of your ether abilities that you may or may not have. And if Melia could try to topple him, that would be perfect, because this deals extra damage when your enemy is toppled. And boom! Extra damage from behind. Come on! Spear break! And, come on, gonna do that really quick here. Waiting on the um, NPC to do the things that you need to do is quite... Uh, Frustrating. Maybe it will be happening. Maybe it won't. But I don't think we will need it anymore. So let's do this. Didn't even need it after all. Yes, let's remain vigilant. I love the little troll that... Um, getting confused with the names that... Fiora does with her knives, blades, whatever you want to call them. After the fight, so... Looks really nice. And gonna sneak past you. Hope that I can go. Wait. Doesn't look like I can go past that part. It does not look like it. No. So I sneaked past him for no reason. Good. I need to get around the other one. You don't... Okay. Okay. What is... I, I don't see you. I'm gonna run away. I don't see you. And if I can't see you, I won't fight you. Gonna run away. It took a lot of damage for not seeing the enemy that is attacking me. It's someone floating. Stop attacking me, seriously. So unpolite. I didn't see what it was and I couldn't focus on it, so I decided to run away because it's. It's. Is it the thing that's floating there in the background? Was that attacking me? If yes, wow. So, gonna also. Sneak past you. Well, gonna deal with you. Well, he probably... 
Uh, I'm gonna go sneak past them. I don't wanna have to deal unnecessarily much with those guys. Digit 2. So we are on the right path now. And we have a quick travel to this place. So, let's go up there. That seems oddly quiet for a path that leads to the foot of the Mykonis, but whatever. Have some happiness, happiness flies. Oh my god, how cute. I'm so happy that I found them. Yeah, but whatever. They are not really important. So we are at digit 2. We have the quick travel here, we found the location. Now we need to only get to the point where we need to be. And then we are good to go. So, we can climb this ordeal up. But I'm gonna be totally honest, I don't think that this is necessary since we can go around this way. And do everything that we need to do from this side. Also, if we look down here, wait. Look down there. Ah, we don't see it. Because I think that down there was a Machina. And he has quests for us. Wow. That was instant. And that, I mean, as instant as it could get. But yeah, here we have the rotating ball cat. Ooh. So it opened up for us. From here on out, we will go towards the Mechanis. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, how about a comment down below? Uh, down below. I really would appreciate that. Let's see all of you to the next part of Xenoblade. So, bye!